Hey guys, welcome to the Ritual Gaming Junction. This is Camilio and we're live on Twitch pretty much every day, 8 p.m. Eastern time, except on Saturday, but sometime I stream on Saturdays also. We're continuing Star Trek The Rebel Universe. Uh, I'm just gonna start because um, there's a little more people than when I played Observer a couple of minutes ago. Uh, I did more. Hey, bass! I did more sounds. I added some sounds. Um, I don't know if Nyx is still there, but he would like this. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. <laughs> That's some Cowboy Bebop. And then we have uh, this. Is there an age bar to learning computers? Definitely. There's a definite age bar. Um, there's no hope in the world for somebody past the age of 35. Okay, did you hear this? Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Um, so the age bar thing, and then we have the last part of the age bar, with the, which is no hope. There's no hope in the world for somebody past the age of 35. <laughs> then we have insulted. I'm not sure, but I think we've been insulted. I'm sure. Some Star Trek and Hell Out. Kirk that is not happy and he wants to, he wants to get the hell out of there. Um, that's the end of one of the best episodes ever uh, Star Trek. So L out and then you have uh, there's one last oh yeah violation. Fuck you! <laughs> so to use if I if I swear too much or something like that. Oh, you can also if you type in the chat, you type fuck. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. Fuck. fuck you. So yeah, I think I'm gonna add some in there. So I think I think I'm gonna add all of them. Fuck shit, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Uh, Star Trek. Damn it, I have that one, but I haven't got it working right. Aha! Firsties! First! <laughs> uh, that means you can't use it. <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Like, I didn't know that some of the ones that I created were actually, like, stupid. Stupid! Uh, Senator uses that one. But I also have... Oh, it's... It's you so stupid? Or it's you stupid? You're so stupid. <laughs> anyway, there's another one. <laughs> exactly. So if you have other ideas, just shoot them to me. At least they're gonna hear it in my stream. <laughs> uh, what are you playing tonight? So let's plug your stream a little bit. Oh, I should add some music here. We should uh, we split a little bit of background star trick. Trick. <clears throat> trick, trick, trick. No. Is it this one I use? Or is this one? I think it's this one. I have two of them. This is another one. This is way too loud, so it's clearly not the one I'm using. This one is better because it has other sounds. Like 
like those sounds, the buttons. Sometimes you hear Kirk say it or something. Okay, um, so we're gonna play a little differently. What I'm gonna do now is like go here. What am I doing right now at this point? This is. Really? Ah, oh, shit, really? God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try to make this fast. When you create the characters and design the surroundings, anything's a possibility. The Sims. It's a new game every day. Bring it to team. The Secret of Monkey Island, a game so big only the Sega's CD could hold it. You are Guybrush Threepwood, would-be pirate. Something's afoot on these islands and it's up to you to find out what's what. A graphic adventure game has never been so easy. Using the award-winning scum system, walking, talking, taking is as simple as pointing the cursor and pressing a button. The Secret of Monkey Island offers adventure gamers a new kind of storytelling experience that includes logic puzzles, complex conversations, and side-splitting humor. Available now from LucasArts Games and JVC, The Secret of Monkey Island sets new standards for Sega Genesis CD games. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I wanted to check what these uh, planets are before even going to the system. Like, there's a is there any reason to stay here? No. So, um, oh, this is a save I I done before moving. Okay, so this is save number one. Now we're gonna go. I don't know this one. I think I went there and there was nothing really interesting. Uh, let's go a bit on the side. I feel I've been there. Cox, yaks. Well, if I've been there, yeah, let's go there. Anyways, fuck it. Fuck it. Set course, then the speed. This. And that's it. We're, we're, we're going at this point. It's not obvious, they should tell you. There you go. So, you go in there, you check what's there. We're gonna get attacked. Energy refinery, maybe you should even save. Energy refinery, weapons dump, energy refiner, whoops. Oh fuck, I lost Kirk. Sonic rings. Planetary supermine. Planetary supermine? Energy refining. I think one of them here repairs me. I really need to have the Star Trek manual opened.
Military supermind and some planets unimaginable super intelligence has evolved. These superminds do not permit combat in their solar system. Weapon systems simply do not function. Nice. That's why there's no combat here. This is the first time we're coming here. So energy. Okay, this is good. Energy and impulse engine. I think I, I need that anyway. The other one we have here is... We need repair drone deck. Weapons dump. Okay, we need to go to the weapons dump also. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, impulse is shit. Yeah, go. Oh yeah, we had problems where we couldn't land on some planets. I think you, it is possible that you cannot land on some of the planets near the center when you cannot go fast enough. Because I kept... The Enterprise was going there and then as soon as it was, it was about to be close to it, the trajectory would change and it was go it was going another spin so it was actually trying to land but wasn't able to like here it would switch to the next okay so we're gonna be good it seems So what the fuck? Am I going too fast? Maybe? <laughs> okay, when we're gonna be near, I'm gonna switch to... F to uh, one-fourth. Cause come on. Cause the first time I booted this game, I played a little bit. I think it was on stream. My first little run, test run. And since at my first attack I got really damaged, I was running out half in, in, impulse for a while. Okay, maybe even here at this point. I'm gonna wait a little bit. So I have no patience. <sighs> okay. Oh shit, this is not the right. No! No! Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. No. Okay, maybe it's the outer ring that I can't do. Let's try the inner ring. The sonic rings. And there's Superman. God damn it. What is this? Okay, energy refinery. What is this bullshit? <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it's gonna work because the trajectory keep changing. The trajectory shouldn't be changing every I don't get it. Like it's, it's actually going there, right? So I should be able to do this if I do this. But nope. A confirm. Oh, you really need to press that confirm button. Okay, at the beginning I just pressed it and I was like, this doesn't really do anything because I saw the trajectory. <laughs> okay, now we know. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, but that's all we needed. That's all we needed. 
Uh, phaser bang, that didn't do much. And that didn't do shit. Tracking station. Weapons dump. This place was supposed to give me impulse. It didn't. This place here. I'm not clicking on it because I'm afraid. This will not even give me impulse. I'm still stuck at half speed, which is extremely annoying. Uh... And these are not refilled. Nothing is happening. It's supposed to refill my torpedoes. Uh, maybe it's because of superpower. Let's go elsewhere. So this place was useless, so I'm not going to save even. Okay, this is Cordiac. Dozus. Let's go to Dozus. Gonna get attacked as soon as we get the place. You yeah, should save. So first, those was five. Orbital discontinuum. I don't know what that means. Energy refinery. The lithium. Oh that's good. Oh wow, two dilithiums and an energy. So the lithium, that's where the warp engine, and what's the, oh, orbital discontinuum controls me somewhere else, okay. I need the drone repair drone dock. Nothing 
How's the phasers? Okay, they're good. Tiny torpedoes. <gasps> I was shooting the torpedoes. Oh well. At this point, this is what I should do. Um. Target someone else, I don't know. Oh wow, I only have one laser left. Here. 3D pixel vectors. Hey, Mac Apple, how's it going? Oh yes, this game is impressive, in terms of graphics at least. Um, I'm sure I've been there, let's go. Set course. No, what the fuck. That's it, we're going. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, we've been here. I remember. I remember. Zero sucks. Zero sucks. This was on PC, but the PC version is pretty crappy, to be honest. Uh, EGA graphics, where why, while this looks like VGA, and um, I don't know, it just looks like crap. Archive complex. I don't know what that is. Life supporting and come on, roll the dices. Contend. Oh fuck. Eh. Okay, so I'm susceptible to attack here, but there doesn't seem to be anyone. No, no, that's not what I want. Love this one. Oh, this is a planet I can land on. Oh, god damn it. 
Our cave come. Fuck. <clears throat> well, at this point, you're, su you're supposed. You should just do this. Set the course. Oh, we've been here. It wasn't good. No, not those who. Not this one. Set the course. Go. Not so bad. We really need to repair the ship. Communication beacon. Metabolic field. Gamma field. <laughs> Gamma field is bad. What's the other field? Healing effect on the ship orbiting around, so I could heal right now. There's nothing interesting here. Wow. I mean, what's there? Back yak? No, I don't want to go there. <sighs> Back yak is only. Already near Dakyak? Already? What the fuck? Okay, okay then. Okay then. This is smaller than I thought then. Kugzam. I don't think I've been there. Let's go. This is Atari ST and this is Steam 4. It's the, the emulator I'm using. It also works on a bunch of other ones. Atar, Atari H A T A R I. Ah, oh, fuck. God damn it. What does that thing do? Get the soft pods. And this will suck my dilithium. Awesome. Awesome. So unless there's a planet here that will get rid of it, which would be highly unlikely. Weapons dump. Energy refinery. That's the thing that's stuck on my thing and my ship. Weapons dumb. Fuck off! Alright, let's go back. Let's continue, man. I don't care. No. Weapons dump. Life support. The UI is shit. It looks good, but I assure you it is crap. All the screens are good. It's the way you... It should have been just a bunch of numbers at the bottom. I would have liked that better. Just a bunch of letters at the bottom. Not even icons. Fuck it. I don't need icons. If this is what I... No, fuck off. Because these screens are not... Like, you're like, oh, but I can see on the screen. No, because my award speed is not there. Look, look. So it's, these are actually icons. So I don't need that. Like I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is possible. Eight at the same time. But in actuality, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven <coughs> characters. And each of them <coughs> have two or zero uh, interactive screens. So just all of their faces at the bottom, seven faces. 
and then under each face you have their secondary screen because now I always have to have to go back here um, it switches the screens but like this is always when I need it but sometimes when I need to battle or like when I'm here Spock's face should appear you know because I'm, I'm, I need Spock at this point maybe I have a planet here that will uh, heal me no Sonic no, no I think I checked box yaks I can't remember where I've been Complex that's useful. Beacon Robot Fortress Tracking Station. What the fuck is the Robot Fortress? My photon torpedoes will begin to train to drain if I'm here too long. <clears throat> awesome. Go there. I'm feeling it. So I'm always looking for the icon because it's never the same place. It's super annoying. <sighs> the siren thing will drain my impulse engine. Okay, I had like... <clears throat> I had found like a walkthrough of this game. I don't know if it's a walkthrough, but I think it lists some of the planets. I'm gonna try to find one that has a, re a reaper. Because I've been to, I just don't remember, and I don't want to look at my own bugs. No, he doesn't have no there's no information here wow but isn't there okay that didn't say that it came it said further version like in the wiki it said ver further version came with rebel universe that's all i have that's an Atari ST manual, that's exactly what I have right now. Oh, it's a little different. Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't think so. No, this, it's similar. But, no, it's similar, it's the same thing. Almost. A 
Incredible Universe Wiki. Well, the, the on Wikipedia says. Version. Later versions of the game help the user by providing a list of planets and the items they contained. I would I would like that. There's nothing on this game. Planet list. Oh. No. <laughs> it lists the Star Wars planet. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah, no, not. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. I typed in Rebel Universe Planet List. I guess it, it had a Star Trek. Nah. Nope. <clears throat> We're on our own. Kugzam, I don't think I've been there. Now I have to write down all the plan to the, the system to not go there again. You you really have to map the whole game, I I feel, and why it hasn't been done, I guess nobody was pa oh, fuck, patient enough to do it. This is the pod. Yeah, we've been here. Man, it seems at this point everything I click on I feel like I've been to. Quarantine zone. We're actually moving from there to there, which is pretty big. Am I not moving? Ah, oh, it's not moving when I'm there. It's on pause. Get attacked, I'm sure, so I'm gonna save. Pretty sure I've never been here. Come on, give me something good. Ah, this feels <laughs> we've been here, no? Yeah, we've the fucking siren device. Okay, let's go back to the quarantine zone itself. And let's go like here. Fuck it. Science. Set the course. Fuck that. I'm moving. Yeah, we're, we're changing sp like spot.
Wow. Eight. Okay, we're getting we're getting there. I know it's on pause when I'm here. A countdown somewhere. Nice. Beacon. Life support. Nebulous zone. Nebulous zone. What is that? Uh, we don't register, so we can't be attacked here. Okay, so maybe we can go there. We would have been attacked at this point if there was a problem. So we can beam down. Ah! I had things in stores. Not the big console. I don't have to set a mix device. Unit. Wow. No way to do here. No, that's it. I don't think that's good. I think I'm supposed to interact with these things. I think this is the second that I destroyed. Local, okay. This one, zoom you. Zornios. Come on! Oh, 
if I can get all my repairs here, I'll live with the with the sucking thing. We'll see what it does. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to drain. Um, it drains my dilithium crystals a little fast or something. Oh shit, are you shitting me? Okay, it remains dormant for approximately five weeks. Then the pod burst and eat their way into the vessel, completely consuming it. As soon as the Enterprise enters, enters a solar system that contains catastrophe pods, the pods attach themselves to the ship, making a distinctly vicious sound. Should you unfortunate enough to have catastrophe pods stuck to Enterprise, you must travel to another solar system in order to find an orbital discontinuum. That's the only way to get rid of them. This is a good reason to supply. Okay, so there's aim. Okay. So this should have repaired our ship. No. We're not getting repaired. We're not getting anything. What's going on? Repair drone dock. Okay, so I don't know if it's the game that's uh, bugged out, but this is supposed to really, this is supposed to repair us being here. And I've seen it in action, I've done it. We've been here. And it works, and now it doesn't. I also tried replenishing my phasers, and that also didn't work. So it seems we're fucked and we're gonna restart the whole game or something. I don't know, I can't continue if I can't repair the ship. It doesn't repair itself. You really have to go to these planets. I was looking for these planets and when I saw some planets that was supposed to also replenish my engines, I went there. My impulse engines never got replenished, my warp engine never got replenished. So it seems that I cannot heal, replenish anything, I mean, I'm just stuck like that. I don't know what's going on. That's very unfortunate. But what can I do? Let's try another thing. What about this one? This is an energy refinery. It's supposed to uh, orbits a planet. Oh, under Federation control. Ah, this is Romulan. Oh, it all makes sense now. So what I'm actually supposed to do here is really look for where's the middle Usually there's a brown line to show me the middle of the okay just when I'm here okay okay so I need to find a system that is Federation space Hey, abstractism. Romulan. Independent. Holy shit. Romulan. Klingon. Klingon. <laughs> Federation. I guess. I'll try my luck with this one. Hey, good evening, abstractism. Oh, I'm getting 
kind of bored with this game, kind of? It's like, uh, there's good things about it, but... Oh, it's very... Um, I would have to, like, I would like if somebody would have done a planetary... All the planets by alphabetic order with everything on them, man, that would be the best. But now I would have to do it myself, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that myself. Are you fucking shitting me? Of course not. Come on. We're so dead. These are torpedoes, so I should just shoot them. Fuck it. Eh! What? What? This ain't gonna work. There are some good stuff on these Federation planets. Not on the script. <clears throat> Weapons dump, that's actually pretty good. Mining complex. Okay, that's some good stuff. Okay. Uh oh. I can use all my uh, my missiles since uh, we're gonna get replenished anyways. This and this. I started watching some lower deck. What do you think of that one? I don't know. I'm, I'm still at. Uh, at I'm <laughs> officially, I, I'm midway to next generation. Uh, but actually, I restarted the whole thing, so I'm actually midway to. So I'll get to uh, lower decks in 2045, I guess. I'm not I'm, actually. That's the thing. That's maybe the the one that I'm least interested in because I'm interested in Picard because Next Generation, and I'm interested in the other ones because I've heard mixed things about it. And usually, mixed things means it's gonna be good. I'm actually not really interested in a cartoon about Star Trek. I don't really understand it. Exactly. Like I don't. Star Star Wars works as a cartoon, no doubt. Star Trek is more serious, and from what I've seen from Lower Deck, it's not serious. So I don't get it. I feel they're kind of trying to catch everyone, you know, every demographic. Because that will not please like dar hard dar hard cores of Star Trek. That's for other people. So, this is still shit. This was supposed to do something. Oh yeah, my dilithium, my my warp. Okay, yeah, dilithium. Yes, perfect. Great. Yeah, great, great. Yes, yes, great. <laughs> this is a weapons dump. Oh my god. Yeah, we have no more impulse. God damn. Like, what do you think about the new movies? Like, I thought they were entertaining, but they were definitely not Star Trek. They didn't feel like Star Trek. They had all the characters doing Star Trek-y things, kind of. 
with way, way more explosions and way more everything. Every, more everything. I don't know, there's something... Uh, there's something about just people running, not running, walking around a, sh a, sh a ship and just talking about stuff and being able to do a whole 45 minutes of a story with that. Usually not much more than that. Impulse is still crap. Oh, this is way better. Okay. We're back in business. We definitely need uh, Impulse. So I'm going to save on four? Because we have a bunch of stuff in stores, right? Oh, no. I don't have the other item that I picked up. I just have this because I picked up another item. God damn. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. <laughs> Are you back from work? <laughs> I guess the Kelvin timeline stuff is weird. It's not. It's not the time. I don't give a shit. They can do six timelines. It's just that it doesn't feel like Star Trek. You know, like if we take Star Wars for example, Star Wars. Um, like the prequels, they really feel like Star Wars. A little bit, but there was something off about them. People didn't like that. The new Star Wars, they don't feel like Star Wars. People don't like that. Like, you can do it if you want, but you're if you're going to continue the IP and a... Like, you have your established fan base. You're making the things for them. You're using the word Star Trek for them, right? Right? I don't know anymore. Like, what the fuck are they doing? I don't know. They're trying to take an IP and switching the fan base, you know, and be like, "Fuck the old fan base. We're rebuilding Star Wars or we're rebuilding Star Trek from scratch." Then why the hell are you using the whole name? Just start from scratch. Just let Star Trek be Star Trek. And if somebody wants to do Star Trek for the old fan base, for the Trekkies, for the one who actually wants Star Trek, who's Star Wars, just do that. It's like if I would be doing um, a cart a silly cartoon, kind of lower deck, with uh, Game of Thrones. Wh what? What? You're deluding the IP. You're actually hurting the IP. You're diluting your product you know star wars in 2000 pre to everything pre 2000 almost was almost everything was gold dark forces jedi knight even shadows of the empire people like that uh rogue one was it 2000 i don't know uh but the, the whole the, the the books all the books before 2000s all the the comic books and of course the whole trilogy they maintain some kind of, you know, vision. And that's important. Right now, they're just, they're just branding stuff. Uh, this is Star Trek phone. This is Star Trek. This is, no, it's just because you put a name on it doesn't mean it's Star Trek. End of rent. Ah, it's just so, I'm, I'm sorry, but it just pisses me off that they keep doing that with every fucking IP in the world. They're just snapping it on everything. And people go. People just are like, ooh, Star Trek. What? Like, I have to actually explain to my kids that the old Star Trek, the new Star Trek are co two completely different things. Somebody just took the name and decided to continue on the, with the story. If you're, if you don't like it, you don't have to bring it like in your mind canon, in your head canon. It doesn't have to be. You can just focus on the old stuff and be like, "Fuck that." But people are like, "Oh no, it's the now it's Star, now it's oh, fuck it, just fuck it. It's not Star Wars. It's not if 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 it's not your Star Trek, your your Star Wars. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to like it. It doesn't even need to be the canon for you. That's what I think." So people are saying like this ruins that. Nah, 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 nah. I hate Prometheus, and I and I, 
and I hate what they've done to Terminator and the Predator franchise, but they, they didn't ruin... Well, they kind of ruined their own IP, but that's their own problem. But for me, myself, it didn't ruin the old movies or my lore in my head of Predator, Predator or Terminator. Like, in, in my head lore, there's actually pretty much just Terminator 1 and 2, maybe, to a lesser extent. I'm way more a fan of the first one than the second one. I like the second one. I just feel that it... It retcon stuff in the first movie, and we just had the sequel. We're literally just the second movie, and the bullshit was already starting. I know everybody loves Terminator 2, and to say hell ill of anything T2 related, you will unsubscribe and not follow me. I don't give a shit. But if you watch Terminator 1 back to back, Terminator 1, 2 back to back, you'll see what I'm talking about. They actually, the, the Genesis and the Dark Fade shit was already starting in the sequel it was already starting it wasn't that annoying it was just little things here and there it made it cooler hipper but they were actually just fucking around with the timeline already or with the even the canon at that time they fucked up with the canon and the timeline afterwards they erased and re-raced and rewrote and now i don't even know like if i actually incorporate all the the Terminator movie and the movies and try to make some kind of like organized timeline or universe in my head nothing it's 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 complete chaos and I can't do it so I'm like fuck it because if you know me you know that I like going back to the original and watching the whole, a whole series and really getting into the lore and I like it when everything connects and everything works well like chapeau, like my hats off to fucking Marvel, who's able to do that in a really short span of time with a bunch of different directors and writers. And it's almost, it's not perfect, but it's almost perfect. I don't like the Marvel's movie, but I can say that they did a good job in connecting everything together. And it's not that, it's messy, but it's not as messy as the Star Wars timeline or the star trek timeline or the terminator timeline or the predator timeline or the alien timeline or the you know anyways the end wave it away by all can design weapons them to keep up with every new tech and heavily bored i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> that took a while but i don't know what you're talking about dude i know nothing about star trek so I know a little bit about the Kelvin timeline because, of course, I know what is JJ Trek. Oh, JJ Trek. Yeah, okay, JJ Trek. The Constitution class is Galaxy class. What? Oh. Like, you're really spoiling things, it seems. <laughs> So I'll stop to re Emily Borg modify Romulan ship. Okay, Dominion War. What the fuck? Two thousand two hundred fifty. I hope that's not true because that makes no sense. Impossible that in two thousand two hundred, like in two hundred years from now, we would be like Star Trek, going around planets, having colonized a bunch of them. No, it's more like 3,000. If this happens one day, it's more gonna be like in the 3,000s. That's why I like... Uh, the size of... Class size looks like size of ships. Oh, even in Next Generation, the Enterprise is actually bigger than... I was actually in a good spot. Why did I do that? Since in the original Star Trek, they really don't talk about the size of ships. Even the classes of ships, Romulan ship, they don't give a shit. Klingons are using Romulan ships. <laughs> they really don't give a shit. It shows. They did not care. 
We're going to Varmore now. Oh no, we have to go to... Um... To a Federation planet. Romulan... 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 Federation 6 planets. God, I'm getting bored with this game by the minute. It's incredible the speed at which I'm. I just can't take. It's 9:30. I'm already done. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm bored to tears. How can you guys stand this? Holy shit! Weapons dump. Okay, there's some good stuff here. Okay, let's save before something bad happens. The interface is killing me. Clicking everywhere is the... <laughs> and, I'm like, oh, and I always need to find where I need to click because it's never at the same place. God, come on! Still getting attacked. Okay, we're gonna get our weapons back anyway. No, not gamma field. What are you doing? Weapons done. Oh no! Why did I click? It actually turned into what? Come on, man. Oh my god. Man, we'll have to switch to fucking horror games soon. It's illegal, yeah, definitely. The Bagel 411, I'm sure you know him, he used to stream a lot in the retro, uh, he, he retired. Um, but he used to start, uh, September was like horror, it was like horror September or something like that. So it was September and October, and usually like uh, Tom, retrograde Tom would do the same. So it, it's, it has been done, I'm not breaking any rules here. But no, the thing is, is that I wanted to um, play this. Oh yeah, no, okay, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. This is going to be the last stream of this game, because this is just the boringest shit ever. Uh, so I guess we're going to go back and, and play Command and Conquer, the Ordos. That's what I said I would do if this was short. <laughs> Because I actually said, and you can record me, you can actually go back to Vaz. I said, 
I watched a let's play of, well I, I I didn't watch the whole let's play but I saw a let's play that was like walk through uh, Star Trek the Rebel uh, Universe walk through uh, it was like 45 minutes or an hour or something so I was like oh it's a short game <laughs> the guy actually knows exactly like where to go because the walkthrough I find online which I could follow I, don't, I actually do not give a shit um, it was like six or seven steps like go to this planet go there go there go there go there go there you don't even have to replenish and he says if you see like an enemy ship you just warp outside the system and go back kind of cheese the thing but this is a game that you actually have i'm not joking to go to every single system and i don't think there's four four thousand planets that's an over exaggeration maybe 400 that seems possible because um, it goes fast, like go to a system, there's six planet, there's three, four, six, four, six, it's not too long, you'll get to a hundred, four hundred maybe, but uh, according to how we've traveled through this, uh, even if you count like that this is a quarantine zone, we're here, when you zoom in, oh, when you zoom in, you're just a little bit closer in, and if you zoom in a little bit again, it seems you have more stars, whoops. Um, but like it's not it's not that big <laughs> that's the whole thing I wanted to say Thanksgiving games <laughs> yeah exactly I tried Chris Christmassy game I think the first maybe two years that I streamed I know the first year I did that the boring, boringest thing there's not many good Christmas games fuck that there's a couple of games that are set in Christmas if you really want to do it. I would say Parasite oh, Heat is a good jump. one. Dead Rising, that, there you go. Uh, Dead Rising, Parasite Heave. Uh, there's a couple of games that are set in, uh, in in Christmas. There's a there's a Die Hard game, I'm sure. Batman, there you go. <laughs> but compared to the original movies, and I don't know if it's a better resolution, but I posted it in the score. Compared to the original movies in Star Trek, the new stuff is Xbox huge in terms of scale. Yeah. Oh yeah, I believe you. The Hard Trilogy on PS1. Uh, you can only play the first one. Are, are they all in the... Uh, in Christmas? I think the second one is Thanksgiving, no? The third one is not Christmas at all. It's like summer, I think. So there's a trilogy? You can actually play the third Die Hard? I didn't know that. Do we have some Samuel Jackson in there? Okay, we're gonna raid Creature 92. He's going all Star Wars. Did he abandon Half Life? What's going on? So, yeah, if we if you didn't uh, figure it out, we're done. We're fucking done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Rez, Rez figured it out. <laughs> Well, I didn't say it, but it was it was it was it was written in the sky, you know. I am done with this game. I'm sorry. This is a short stream. I mean, I've streamed the uh, Observer. If I would have started with this, maybe I would have played a little bit more. Maybe till like 10, 10 30, But fuck that shit. Tomorrow it's uh, Baldur's Gate two, and next week we're gonna play some Command and Conquer. Uh, a couple of streams. Oh my god, he just oh fuck, he just oh man. Oh I'm gonna still raid his ass. He's gonna he's be right he's be right back. He's on the be right back screen. Half life he plays during the day, but he completely changed his icon and all. 
What? Is he switching between two icons? <laughs> Who does that? I actually thought of doing that, by the way. Switching switching my avatar depending on like the um, um the, the, the 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 time of the year. So I thought about like having a summer avatar, but that's like a year ago. Since then I moved on. The world has moved on. Have a good one, abstractism. Have a good night, everyone. Uh, we're raiding creature, whether he wants it or not. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. See you next time. Uh, Saturday also, Discord and all that shit. Uh, I don't have time to put the things. So let's try it quickly. We're raiding right now. Go raid.